Dry year was this California. We've been in dry years. <laughs> this game would look red, 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 <laughs> fire, red, red, if it was exactly. California. That is true. What's up, everybody? I'm Mike. I'm Nick. We're the Brothers Murphy. It's time to talk about some beer, beer. and bread. Gonna beer. play some beer, beer and bread. bread and beer and bread. Two of the most ancient food slash drinks. Yeah, yeah, wheat has been around for at least since at least the 80s. They use the same ingredients. Yeah. All right. The 80s were a wild time. Yeah. Rye, wheat, hops. All these things started existing. Yeah, and we did. are two rival families across a river who are going to have a friendly competition trying yeah. to make the best beers and breads we can. I love the theme. It's a cool little theme. It's fantastic. Uh, this is by Capstone Games, who are sponsoring this play. Thank, Thank you so you. much, Capstone Games. We're going to get into an overview of beer and bread. Before we do that, make sure to subscribe. Subscribing really, really helps out our channel. It does pretty much the most because it gets us seen in front of new people. Subscribe, like this video, and let's get into that overview. Beer and Bread is a two-player game where players are friendly but rival families that live across the river from each other, and every year they have a friendly competition to see who can brew the best beer and bake the best bread, and you need to do both evenly well. The game will take place over six rounds, or years, and these will alternate between fruitful years and dry years. At the beginning of the round, players will seed the fields with a certain amount of crops depending on if it's a fruitful or dry year. During fruitful years, players will be given five cards. These will be a mix of beer and bread cards. On their turn, the player will play one card. Each card has three ways it can be used. You may put it down to harvest the card, and you will gain the crops at the top as long as there are some left in the fields and river. But if you played a card for harvest before that card, you may be able to activate it as well if it has matching crops to the card you just played. So in this case, I put down a card which gives me two wheat and one water. This card here also has water, so I would get to gain another water. Though I would not gain this rye because it was not on the card I just played. Whenever you gain crops or water, they will immediately go into your storage. If you're out of room, you may swap things out, but at the end, any you can't fit in storage, you have to offer to your opponent. The next thing you can do with the card is bake or brew the card. In the middle of each card is recipe for beer or bread. You will turn in those resources from your storage and place the card in your bakery if it's a bread card or in your brewery if it's a beer card. You will score the card at the end of the game. But note that your bakery and brewery can only hold one card each, so you have to get them out of there once they've been made. And this leads us to the last thing you can do with a card, which is play it as an upgrade. On the bottom of each card is an upgrade that you will slide under the bottom of your half of the board. The symbol here will show you where to put it. Once you play a card as an upgrade, you can also clean out your bakery and brewery. Upgrades do a whole bunch of different things from helping you collect crops to giving you more storage or making certain products worth more points and a whole lot more. Once each player has played a card, players will swap hands. Once each player has played five cards, the round will end. And after a fruitful year comes a dry year. During a dry year, the player will pick up any cards they use to harvest in the last round, then they will draw cards to get them back up to five. Three cards are placed here as an exchange and new crops are put out, but it's a dry year, so there's a lot less. In dry years, players do not swap cards, but on their turn they may exchange a card from their hand with one of the cards in the exchange, and the exchange card must be immediately played. Other than that, the dry year plays out the same way. After six rounds have been played, the game is over. Players will calculate the points from their baked bread cards and their brewed beer cards, making sure to add any points from their end game upgrades. And whichever of these two scores is the lower is the player's final score, and the player with the highest score will win. Now, Mike. Yeah. We don't drink. We don't drink. But we beer. do love root beer, and we do love bread. We do love root beer, and we eat enough bread to definitely compensate yeah. for the lack of beer. It's and true. you know what? I've always had an interest in brewing. Yes, it's fascinating. You know, even though you know, it's just not our personal vibe to imbibe. We'll do like this though. Yeah. Do you little sneaky like? Sorry, bake. I bake like this. Bake like that, keep it close to the vest, huh? Yeah, you know. All right, I like that. We do have some beers and breads to make. You know what? And we're, we, I, I think we're friendly rivals across the river. It seems like it's a very fun. I mean, if you look at the cover, again, they they're don't look, in, they're, they don't like look a, mad. They no, look it's, very, a, it's a friendly competition we have they look every year very nice. over who can make the best beer and bread. This is a friendly competition. Now, maybe some of my family members get a little drunk and fire a musket oh, shot across the river once in a yeah, while. There ain't nothing wrong with firing a Molotov cocktail across the river. <laughs> exactly. There ain't nothing wrong with that. It's it, why I land in the water anyway. It's <laughs> fine. It's fine. We gotta do something. There's no TV. Uh, <laughs> so we are going to have a nice, friendly little competition over who can bake and Kill? brew the best. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. All right, so I am first player. I've got some cards here. Now the question is, Nick, how do I, I don't have any ingredients. How do I make something? I don't want to make you gotta harvest. Right. You gotta harvest. Okay, we already have our fields seeded. We are in a plentiful year. We are. Ah. And so we do have There's more resources than we will have next year. We know meteorology, so we know next year is gonna be a dry year. Yeah. I think what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm going to actually do an upgrade and clean action. Now there's nothing Whoa. to clean, uh, but you know, I just wanna be bad about it about it. What's so I wanna do? This one right here. 
will give me the ability that whenever I uh, collect, harvest, and store rye, uh, I can get an additional one. Okay, nice. So there's a little bit more, you know, just in case I need it. Yeah, I'm going to be doing something similar. You kind of stole my plan there. Um, I am going to do this one, which is kind of a similar thing, but this one's whenever I collect and store, uh, excuse me, there we go, collect and store water, I will um, get an extra water. You got to hydrate. You got to hydrate. Now we're going to pass oop, our hand oop. of cards. Whoa. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Ooh. Like it. Like it. Like it. Okay. Okay. Oh, interesting. Yeah, it's try use card. This, these are your orders. These are your harvests, and they're, they're your upgrades. They're everything. That's difficult for you. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to play this in harvest and store. So I'm going to do this, and uh, I'm going to get myself a little bit of wheat, uh, a little bit of rye, and of course I can get an additional rye every time I'm collecting it. You don't have to. Um, no, no, yeah, yeah, I guess you do have to. Uh, you're collecting that rye, so I'm gonna do that. I'm just gonna All collect right. some stuff. I'm gonna do another upgrade here. So in this case, in the card phase of the dry year, so this is when we are getting our new cards. Rounds a two, four, six. Indeed, I can choose to, so normally you're gonna get your harvest cards back and then you draw up from there. I can choose to discard any of my harvest cards. Mm. Wild, 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 So wild. basically I can be like, ah, I don't want these. Give myself a little bit of flexibility. Flexibility is it. Okay, um, mm. now there's this element in this game where you have to plan for the future because these cards are gonna come back to us back to in the dry years. So do I just kind of like, whoop, you know, set a little side heat for the future? What was it? Uh, heat, like yeah, that. Exactly. Um, we need some in, in the comments, please. <laughs> boop, boop. I'm going to harvest and store wow. again. Boop. Now, I'm not gonna get any bonus resources because there's no uh, rye or wheat, but I will get a water from yep. the river and a barley from the barley. field. Um, like so, I think I'm into that. Okay, I am going to uh, do this one right here. So I am gonna get a, uh, a barley and then a rye as well. You go oh, sorry, I went heat. That's right, sorry. Well, I don't know where you're taking it from over the there. The sound of a siphon, so you're like, oh, yeah, 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 you can, you what, can try what, to, what am I doing? You can what try to talk your way <laughs> through your doing? cheating. I'm talking to the supplier. They do a little bit of like, yeah, look over here, there's a cool conversation I'm gonna have over here, and you're just like, here, you gotta swindle me. I gotta distract from the heat. <laughs> yeah, you gotta go here from this side, very important. <laughs> same time, same time, swindler. Same time, same time. Swindler, man, I swear. Um, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't tolerate right no swindlers. Um, swindlers. It's so oh. hard. I'm trying to like remember what cards I gave Mike. Yes. On top of like the cards that I'm keeping. So I'm like, wait, no, what card did I give Mike? Um, you ready to see some real mediocre play? Go watch before you play if you want to see smart people oh, play yeah. this game. I'm going to tuck this under Nick. Okay. This can give me an additional storage. Yeah. I can now hold up to 10 items because... It's just it like I'm already halfway yeah. full. Yeah, no, that's always you nice. Know? I'm going to harvest this card. Now, because I did harvest another wheat, I will get another wheat here because you get to harvest all the same kinds. So I'm going to get two wheat. Heep, boop, boop. And then uh, one. How dare you, oh my bro? Gosh, I didn't Watch get. this guy close. <laughs> what am I doing? Guaranteed Nick does this at some point in the game. I will probably also do it as well. No mercy in the comments. I don't, can, no I'm mercy. Move these slightly farther. I'm gonna move them over here where they're slightly safe. Slightly farther away. You need me the banker? They're just, they just seems like I'm supposed I'll be to be the get banker. Them from there. No. Okay. Um, I will. Oh, interesting. I guess I can. Let's, yeah, let's go for a little bit of a, a rainbow. So I'm gonna go here and harvest this as well. This can get me two hops. I heard they recently decided to add more hops to it. Okay, I'm gonna play this one as an upgrade here. Okay. So this is a game end one. So this will only matter at the end of the game. Yeah. And this one is a game's end. If I played more cards as upgrades here than uh, the other player, I get two extra coins towards either beer or bread. So yeah, basically course, whatever my lower score is, balance. I'll do that one. And that's nice because you obviously also count that as an upgrade. Exactly. So you are in the I was lead. Like, I'll go for that. Front. Okay. Uh, that's it. All right. So now what we're going to do is quickly chess to see who scorn. has the fewest resources. It is Nick. You become first player. Now we're going to move on to a dry year. So in the seeding phase, we're going to quickly seed, but again, with a lower number. And in case like this with barley, we actually just Too much. lose some stuff. We have barley. four here, four hops. And so, all the water. So, four. Oh, yeah, that's the six. I don't know what's going on. Uh, and then all the water is always there. Because <laughs> the, the river is The river keeps flowing. 
Uh, and now we're going to do is all these harvest cards that we use from Harvest and Story go back into our so hands. So indeed, so I can choose to discard any number of these because you're going to yeah. draw back up to five. So if I don't really want these... Yeah, if you don't think you need them. Ooh, that's interesting. I'll keep these. These are fine. Okay. Mm, I'm going to get rid of some. Yeah. All right. So I'll get four cards. You're going to get four cards. I have three cards uh, left over, so I will get just two. And then what we're going to do is get three exchange cards. Because in this, uh, in the dry years, of course, we won't be drafting cards, handing our hand no. back and forth. So you have a little bit of flexibility. We can instead have these. So there's there's more cards than you think you have access to. Yes. Uh, you are first player, my friend. Um, okay. I, ooh, man, this is kind of an, ooh. I feel that. This feel is that. not great because I, hmm. I'm going to harvest here. I'm going to get a water, a wheat, and then a rye. A wheat? So much wheat. All right. I'm going to... Oh, man. I'm going to harvest and store. I'm going to get a water and then a barley like so. Um, okay. I think I am going to ex exterminate change... Um, I'm going to exchange this one for this one, and I am immediately going to play this as a harvest card. So I'm going to get two water and a hops. Oh my gosh, I almost did it again. Um, <laughs> so in this case, I have too many resources for spaces. So in this case, I can fill out this. Now, luckily, Mike also has no space. I have one great. space. Oh, you do. So basically, I will put on here what I would like. And you can exchange if you like. I just don't need all that wheat. You can't exchange those things out. You don't yes. Have to. So I'm gonna go like this, and then whatever is left over, whatever is left over, I can then you have to then offer to your opponent. Now, Mikey does have one space. Now you cannot exchange no. for this. You can't take anything out of there. But sure basically, can't. do you want one of these wheats for your thing? You I there? don't, man. You don't I, want one of these at all? No. Great. Uh, uh, space is limited, and I gotta really think about what I'm doing. You know. Okay. Sure. All right. Is it me? Yeah. All right, Nick, what I'm going to do, well, we're going to brew ourselves a fancy little cup of beer. Just a cup. Just a cup. Just beer coming cups. Little, why not? Uh, this is going to take two water, one, two water, a hops and a barley. Boom. I'm going to turn those back into the supply. Okay. And then this is going to flip face down. Yep. And now my brewery for the moment is full. It is full. Beer. I don't have any upgrades that increase that storage, so I cannot... Be, brew another beer okay. until I clean out by doing an upgrade action yep. my brewery. Um, okay, I am going to brew a slightly bigger pint. They come in pints. Come I'm in getting pints. one. It comes in pints? Oh. I'm getting one. Um, right here, so this is going to cost me three water, two wheat, and two hops. It's a big old mug. Um, Man, that's me worth eight points at the end of the game. That was a good one. Blam. All right, me, yep. Nick, I'm going to do an exchange. I'm going to take this card right here, and I'm going to put one card from my hand in its place, and this card I'm going to use to do a harvest action. So I'm going to get two water, two barley, and a wheat. Nice. Two, two, and a wheat. I think I do have just enough room you to do. store it all. So yeah, that's you good. sure do. Barely. Don't have to offer you nothing. Barely got space for that barely. Nothing. All right, I'm going to do another upgrade here. So I'm going to pop this one under here. So now, whenever it's the seeding phase, at the end of the seeding phase, when you put out crops here, I'm automatically going to grab one of the weeds. Wow. And because I didn't upgrade, I now get to remove this and clear out my brewery. All right. Uh, I am going to bake some bread. Crying that wheat. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use just a little bit of water. Some barley and two rye make a fine rye bread, which Nick has definitely real life opinions about rye bread. It's true. So I'm making this and I'm wafting the smell your way. I ate rye bread one time as a kid and you I got very think, ill. I got very, very ill. I don't know if it's because of the rye bread or think, not, but nonetheless, I just I, I think had the this bread bad, was off. I think I the bread have was off. Bad feelings in my heart about rye bread. It was intense. Um, okay, so and you were instantly sick. Immediately, you were, I was very sick. Yes. Uh, 
five seconds later. Yeah. I mean, it, it was, was there was no downtime. So I'm going to play this one as a harvest. So I'm just going to get two rye, two wheat. Okay. Wheat, wheat. Right, wheat, wheat. Okay. All right. Uh, last thing I'm going to do, Nick, is I'm going to do an upgrading clean action. So I'm going to do an end game scoring one that's going to give me, for each of my sold cards, which is worth six or seven coins, I'll get an extra coin for its type of good. So beer or bread, right? Yeah, which is sweet. Name of the game. They said the thing. Uh, beer and bread for so I'm going to do this, which is great for me, but I'm also going to be able to clear out, yeah. just in time, my uh, brewery and bakery. Boom. All right, that is it. So now, in the end of this round, all of our cards from our harvest are going to go away. We do not get them back like nope. we did in the last round. Not These maybe. will also go away because we're going back into a fruitful year. Yeah, it's time to reset, refresh, you know, get wrecked again. Get wrecked. Yeah. So we're so going, we're going into the next. back up oh. here. So we're going to go back up to seven for this one. Okay, and then we're going to go to eight. Barley. Barleyman. That, eight, that is eight, six rye, and then six haps. And then, because of this card, at the end of the seeding phase, I will get to take one of these wheats. Nice. Oh, and that's one thing we didn't check. I have fewer resources. Oh, you do. Me, so, so you are going to come first player. First player. And now we are just about ready to begin the next fruitful year. <laughs> Fruit, fruitful. What's your favorite fruit-based baked good? Fruit-based baked Good? Yes. Like a cobbler, a peach well, cobbler? Or just it has fruit as a prominent part of it. It doesn't have to be like all fruit, like a cobbler or a pie. That's Yeah, I'd go probably that. I don't know. Banana nut muffin? Yeah, that's fine. Sure. Good, good like... Orange scone? Orange scone. So that's my, my vote might be orange scone. Yeah, maybe a scone. Orange scone is orange so scone. Good. How about you? It's probably like... It's probably like an orange scone. I mean, I do love me some like apple pie and stuff like that, but sure. like an orange scone is like. We don't have an apple pie all year, per se. No, that's the thing. Like a cranberry orange scone is like that, or. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah it's it good. Beat. That's hard to beat. Okay, you're okay. up. All right, I'm thinking I'll start off the new year with a bit of a harvest. Uh, mm. I'm going to harvest here, get myself a little bit of hops, a little bit of barley. How good. Okay, I'm going to harvest as well. I'm going to get some wool top and a bit of barley. No, you won't. Over here! Oh my gosh, Michael. What am I doing? I, with my I'm life? deducting three points the next time you do that. <laughs> now you haven't, I've, not, I've caught you every time since. I mean, wow. I'm going to put a little wall. I know, I need, I need like some kind of screen. I don't know what it is. <laughs> it's because you're right handed. I'm, I'm right handed, so I constantly, right -handed. I'm reaching here. Yeah. Sorry. No, it's okay. It's all right. It's just fun. If we flip the board the other way, then everything, then all of our stuff would be on our non dominant hand, we wouldn't even think about it. Yeah, it's true. We're playing this game backward. We are. Added difficulty because we're real gamers. We're real geniuses. What do you want me to do here? Okay. Um, okay. Ugh. All right. I need to make so much more stuff. Dude, I'm in a rough spot. Um, mm. Oh, sorry. I should have an extra water. I just realized because I collected an extra water. Where are you going to oh, go? Which means I'm going to have to give you I'll something. Take it. I'll Cripes. take that extra water. I'll take the extra water. No, I don't really want to give you the water. I'll take it. Everything needs water. Nah. Takes the right. I'll take it. You take I'm not that afraid right. of it. You take that right. You take that right. You will take the right. It's out on. Like, really? Why? He just like got a loaf of bread. He's like, all right. Like, I you need you need me. Um, all right. I'm gonna harvest a wheat and two rye because I do get extra rye when I harvest it. I only have two spaces though. So I hate you. To what? 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 I was gonna make that. We're gonna take five. Rye. Oh. I was gonna make that bread on my next turn. This one right here? Yeah. <laughs> that's, what, that's the bread I was going to make. It's a me. Crap. That is the bread that How I was going to make. Um, okay. I'm going to, I'm trying to think of like, what do I have? What do I got to keep? I think what I'm going to do is keep the rise, but offer you the wheat. Oh, I can't. I can't. Got no room. I can't. Dang it. I would like that wheat, actually. Okay. Oh, stars. I don't know. I can change my whole plan now. That is exactly That's the I, tricky part in the fruitful year is the, the drafting. Like, I'm yeah. not a oh, full disclosure. I'm in a situation right now where I'm like, just stay away from one of these cards. One of these three cards. I got yeah, a one in three chance of my life getting is, ruined. That's unfortunate. Like, really unfortunate. Yeah. Yeah, I am going to... Oh, man, yeah, that's bad. I really... I was like, okay, I'm going to turn this over. He won't play this card. Dang it. I have all these plans. Okay, so I'm going to get another wheat and a hops. I cannot keep these i am going to keep 
You can't take either of these. Now I'm full I up. should probably. So make it, you know, make it good for you. Yeah, you want those? Yeah, they're. Can't have them. No room. I'm not allowed to exchange out. That killed me. Yeah. I was just like, no. That's a tricky bit. That's a tricky bit. <laughs> so harsh. It's so harsh. Okay. I think what I'm going to do is, um, I'm going to do an upgrade. I don't have anything to clean, but I'm going to upgrade this so that anytime you collect water, I can collect a water as well. I do like those to your ones. points. Pretty much everything, you gotta have water. You're yeah. not gonna get very far. It'd be a dry bread without any liquid. Those are pretty, yeah, it'll be a little rough. I'm also gonna do an upgrade. I'm gonna do this one right here. When's the mean? expansion of this game coming where you start making beer bread? Oh, that is amazing, IRL. It is. Beer bread's yes, amazing. It is. So this one's whenever I move um, any bread cards from my bakery while cleaning it, I'll collect a water. Nice. Found some uh, rogue water here on the ground. I'm gonna. Take that, just slurp it on up. Just Nick, I'm gonna make it, myself a bread. I'm okay. gonna turn in three rye, a barley, and a wada. Barley. Boom, just like so. And that's gonna be another delicious loaf. Delicious loaf made the for the people. I'm also gonna make some bread Boop. over here. So okay. I'm gonna spend a water, two rye, and four wheat. Four Boom. wheat. Boom. 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 Nice. Okay. Um. Oh yeah. I take this card. That's right. I take, oops, sorry. I take this card. The wildness. Um. Right. Hmm. Okay. 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 I, hate, I see you. I see you. I hate you. I see All right. You. I think with this last turn, mm. I'm going to harvest. I'm going to get a wada. And then one, two, and then three because of my, my little upgrade here. Three rye. Okay. Which means I probably will not stay first player, which is a bummer, but yeah. it's okay. So I'm going to harvest two. I'm going to get three water because I was collecting an additional one. Nice. Uh, and then I'll get two wheat and then a rye. Nice. Oh, not quite. I'm still going to be first. That is going to trigger my ability. So yes, after your turn, anytime you collect water, I can collect a water. I have to do it after you because in theory, we could run out of water. Yes. It'll reset, but, you know, we have to really be pounding it. Oh, yeah. You're going to have to hard stuff, Nick. A little H2O. You heard of that? It's a new street, that? It's pretty new street crazy. Thing. Pretty crazy. Okay. All right, cool. That is going to be the end of the year. So we are going to be going into a dry year here. The most dry year. So we're going to take back our cards. Dry year was this California. We've been in dry years. <laughs> this game would look red, 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 <laughs> fire, red, red, if it was California. Exactly. That is true. That is true. Okay, so we'll bring some stuff in, take some stuff off. Indeed. A little less going on here. Same amount of water. Always. All right. And then do I want to... So at the end of seating phase, I will get a wheat. Mm -hmm. And became first player again for having fewer... I can choose to get rid of yeah. one of these or more of these. I'll be getting two cards. That's right. Um, I will get rid of this one, so then I'll take Chip. three cards. I will get one, two cards, and we'll get our three exchange cards, of course. Indeed. And this time we are not drafting, which I'm kind of... Drafting is tough, because like it's good, because you get to see more cards, but also I'm like, I don't want you to take the cards I want, because that's what happened last time. Yeah, right. It sucked. Okay, so I'm first going to do this one. This is going to be an endgame scoring one for each of your sold cards that is worth either eight or nine coins. Nice. Uh, it's worth an extra coin. And I think both the things I did you were... You can check those any time, by yeah, the way. Yeah, I'm pretty sure both things I did were eight. I think for reference, we've, eat, we've each done one bread, one beer. Sorry, two breads and a beer? Two bread. I've done one and one. Yep. One and one. Okay, got it. Yeah, so both the ones I've made are eight. So nice. they're each going to be worth more now. Very cool. Uh, oh, and I get to clear this out. Sure. Also, whenever I clear just bread, I collect one water, which I'm going to have to offer to you, which you can't take anything. Can't take them full up, man. Not yep. Thirsty. Thirsty. Uh, all right. I'm going to do exchange, man. I'm going to do an exchange. Um, I'm going to do an exchange for this card right here. Put a card from my hand right there. And I'm going to brew this beer. So I've got one, two wada, a hops, two rye, and a bit of vit right here. Hefeweizen Extremo right there. I know beer stuff. Uh, pretty, pretty impressive, probably. Uh, bam, I'm gonna brew a beer. Happened. 
That just happened. That just happened. With that, I started leveling my musket across the river. <laughs> Get ready. <laughs> um, stars. See, I don't really want to harvest right now because I'm going to have to just give a whole bunch of stuff to you, which is not I a did great... just great... Clear out some space. You did just clear out some space, but I can't like, uh, I can't like make anything. Yeah, it's a bummer. That's what we call a problem. Yeah, it really is. Oh man, yeah, this is a bummer. <laughs> Sierra Hills, Camp Cody. Oh man. <sighs> Yeah, this is not going to be good. I, I, I'm just trying to figure out a way to do something that's not going to just immediately give you resources, but I think it's going to. Letting it prove. <laughs> I was like, what are you doing over Letting there? it prove. I've got a plan, man. I'm seeing into the mind of the bread. Of the bread? Oh, man, I'm so, I'm so hosed right now. I just don't have a good choice for anything. Harvest, man. I don't want to give you stuff. And, well, yeah, well, yeah. I'll have to. I think I'm just going to have to. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. Yeah, I really don't want to, but I think I'm just going to have to. Um, I'm going to get... Take those. Um, do I want those? Yep. What's the point of not taking them? You can always exchange them on your turn. That's fair. Um, oh, man, this is bad. I'm in, I'm, in, I'm in a bad. I'm in a bad a way. Bad way. Bad. Bad way. Bad way. All right, Nick. I'm going to do an upgrading clean. Okay. So I'm going to upgrade. Uh, and so I have another end game server for every two bread I sell, I'll get an extra dollar for bread. I have at least two bread sold, so yeah, I get that's not bad. a minimum of a dollar out of that. Alrighty. Um, and I get to clean out my stuff. Cool. I'm going to exchange this one for this one. I'm immediately going to brew this beer. It cost me three water, two barley, and a haps. Very nice. Bam. Cram. Uh, all right, I'm gonna do a little harvest right here. I'm gonna get a wada and two rye because of my uh, ability to collect extra. Okay, I am uh, Corbin in Dallas. Um, let's go here. I'm gonna swap this one out and I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna be to get two hops, two barley. Okay. Yep. All right, I'm going to make a bread. Wow, oh, you're making tons of stuff. I'm make a uh, bread with wada and just three rye. There's no other flavor profile here. Rye, 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 guys. That it, that it. Boom. Another bread for the people. Erm, trying to decide again. I can offer you something which I don't really want to do. So I'm going to go here, and basically now I can hold. Uh, an additional beer card before, because now this is full, but now I can actually have two beer cards there rated. before I can have, before I'm forced to get them out of there. Yeah. <sighs> okay, final turn here. I'm just wondering what to prioritize. Um, I, <laughs> baby. All right. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna harvest and store. So I'm gonna do this right here, throw this down. This is gonna yield me two water, and then three rye, there's only two to collect. I could get a third based on my little upgrade, but alas, the field is empty. So I'm gonna do that. All right. So I set myself for the future. I will have to say second player. We'll see if that's a mistake. Yeah, but we'll see. Yeah. All right, let's get rid of these harvest cards, there and they then go. go into the next plentiful season. Uh, I am first again, huh? Indeed. Hmm. Let's go here. I'm gonna have to offer you stuff again. 
That's not a good idea. You should not be offering your opponent stuff all the time. I mean. All right, hold up. Did y'all see that? Let's go ahead and take a look and rewind because did I not tell you that at some point Nick was going to steal resources from outside the field? Boom, look at that. Caught red-handed, Nick. Let's see how this plays out. I got a feeling Karma's gonna come get you. And in the meantime, we all know Nick is a filthy cheater who cheats. It is confirmed. I called it. I called it. And it's Nick, a calculated risk. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna take two of these Wultas, I think. Um, let's, if you would like, I want to rye. No, do we want those? Either, um, either of them there. I, uh, uh, we'll take the barley. Okay. All, All right. right. I'm going to brew a beer. I'm going to spend three water. Two barley, which you just gave me one. Yeah, boom, I, was, I, was, I was like worried that, man, I rye. have done three cards. Mike has now done six. A hops. That's not good for me. How are you doing so much? Um, oh, oh, here, I'll gosh. show a demonstration real quick. One second. Let me get the set. That <laughs> right there? Really a little of that right there. <laughs> if you can impose just really like, can you spiral? Can you make that look cool? I'll be like, no, dude. Can yeah. you just like, can you put like Arnold's arms right there? <laughs> uh, that's how. <laughs> Down to the old muscaroo. I'm just like in the window, like <laughs> we got Scout. Whoa, whoa! All right. Pass him out. You are wow, man. You've done double the. I mean, that, granted, like I think I've the really, ones I've done have been like again. It's like in that in these fruitful years, whatever you harvest, I've been really trying to say like what I'm harvesting. I'm hoping to make next season. So I'm yeah. just really trying to do that and be efficient oh, with adding upgrades to clear out here, yeah. you know, my stuff. So, so far, so good. All right, I'm gonna brew this beer right here. It's gonna be two water, a barley, and a wheat. Just a little, just a little pint. Two water and a, a barley. And a wheat. Now again, I can have two beer cards because of this upgrade right here. Yep, that's nice. All right, I'm gonna do an upgrade and clean. I'm gonna upgrade here. This gives me specifically two spots for water. Yeah. But mainly yeah, I get to so clean nice, out though. my uh, my stores. All righty. Okay, what do I wanna do here? Okay, I finally have some space. I'm gonna do this one right here, which is gonna be a three rye. Ooh. Rack, rack, rack. All right. Rack, rack, rack. Rack, rack, rack. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. I'm going to play this for harvest and store. I'm going to get a wada. I'll put this on my little special water spot. And a little bit of barley. Not on the water spot. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, 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 ooh. ooh. Yeah, I'm going to do this one. I want one additional storage unit, and that will also clear out this. Very nice. Mm. See, the problem is I've made three beers in one break. That's not good. Um, not good. I'm just hammered drunk making more beer. <laughs> <laughs> Open the taps, dear. It's like you're, you're drinking your own supply. You're supposed to sell that. And you're like, mm, you know I got to make sure it tastes right. I said it to myself. <laughs> um... Uh, all right, I'm going to harvest and store again. I'm going to get a hops and then two barley. Oh, man. It's just, you, you feel the crunch of time. You really do. Real hard. Yeah, it's <laughs> tough. Oh, man. Mm. Mm. Um, I'll put this. Ooh, don't want to, though. Yeah, I'll do this one as an upgrade here. So this one is whenever I beer, I brew beer or bake bread, I can spend two wheat as if they were either one hop or one rye. So it essentially oh, makes nice. them a little bit wild. That's nice. Um, I'm gonna do an upgrade as well and just increase my storage for beer just in, the, yeah. in case. Because at the end of the game, anything that's here on your, your brewery or bakery still gets to count to your yes, score. So in case I like have a last second need, yeah. Let's have a little more flexibility. Last With that, round. we're going in the last round. Oh now. my gosh. Are we not terrified? Yes, we are. Can we get a scream from the crowd? 
existential lack. Oh my gosh, this is bad. It's gonna be fine. No, it's good. All right, so do I want to? Don't you want games to hurt so good? Not this is. Yeah, no, this is bad. <laughs> um, this is poor for me. Did you get your? I've not done this yet. Yes. Thank you. Um. Okay. Do I want to? Dis oh, you know what? I become first player in the last round. I have slightly. Oh yeah, I you're have, right. Well, yeah, I have one less yep. than you do. Okay. Do I want to discard either of these? I think I'm gonna discard this one, which will give me four cards for this last round. Okay. Hmm. Oh All man. Right. I'm trying to get my brain around it. Yep. 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 Oh, we need to put some exchange cards. That might be useful. Let's see. Okay. Sure. Oof. Hmm. Lordy. Lordy. Uh, I'm gonna harvest. I'm gonna harvest a wada and a barley. Okay. Put my water down here. Okay, I am uh, going to harvest. Yeah, we're gonna do this one. I'm gonna get two water, a wheat. Oh, I forget what I mean. oh god, I was doing so good. A wheat and a rye. Mm. Um. Hmm. Oh, stars. Should I use no. Sorry. What's on offer today? Those two. Sorry. What, what are you doing with those two extra waters sitting there? Oh, I'm sorry. This one. Oh, gosh. I thought I offered you some. Oh, you can take a hop stew. You want give me it? a water. Huh? No. Give me a water. No. Give me a you water. get a water. Whatever, man. I'll take that. Take that wheat. Um, all right. I will play interest you. I'm going to do this swap out with that. And I'm going to play this as an upgrade so that my fours and fives are worth a little bit more. Yeah, nice. Along with my sixes and sevens. So we're just powering up. Okay. I'm baking this bread right here. It's going to cost me one water, four rye, and two wheat. Nice. It's a big old, big old dark loaf. Um, blam. You said blam. All right. I'm going to exchange this and harvest. I'm going to get two water and a wheat. Uh, the water... I suppose I'll swap this out for water and offer you a wheat and hops. I'll take that. Thank you, sure. Hey, man, you're welcome. Hey, thanks. Free you. of charge. I appreciate that, actually. The cards are just not quite exactly. Ever so slightly yes, wrong. Yeah. Just <laughs> so. Are the exchanges any help? No, they're not. Okay. They're, everything is just very, very slightly wrong. I'll tell you right now, I need a card with a water and a barley on it. And there's just. Nothing. Nothing with a water and a barley. Um, I see. Which means you can get water or barley. No, it doesn't help me because I have to send two turns harvesting, which is not like ideal. Yeah. Um, shoot. I mean, you have three turns left, including the one you're on. Yeah. So, you know, mathematically, I don't know if that works out for you in, in any way that's useful, but. Uh, sorry. You're good. I'm gonna cut all this out. I'm not gonna see it. Oh man, this is so hard. Watch in three, in, in three, you're gonna have your answer. Okay. All right. So in three, two, one. Next turn. Did it work? No. Okay. Dang. <laughs> Try. Try. I thought you were gonna cut or something like that. I was just like, oh. no, I was gonna do it so that <laughs> this like very plainly cuts you like okay i got the answer i guess i'll do this one for right now and that'll give me a barley and two wheat nice i'm going to bike a braid it's going to cost me a water two barley and two wheat nice little loaf yeah it's a fluffy one 
got this man. No, yeah, deep, deep. I forgot that I have an extra storage and I have a water down here. Oh, so you're good. I think we'll be okay. Woohoo! Think we'll be okay. Life's looking up. Wow, I forgot that, that existed. Um, so I am gonna do this though. Put this one down here. Mostly, this is basically at the end of the seeding phase. I would get a rye. I'm not gonna really use that, but I need to clear out my bread area. Gosh, I forgot I have this water here. Oh my stars. Hey, that's why you did that. You were thinking. I wasn't thinking. Actually, I think when I did do that, I did do that for you that You woke reason. up from drunken slumber having built a little, you know, annex to your shed. I did. I did get two water last time. I was like, okay, maybe we can do two things. <laughs> All right. All right, my What's final. last turn here? Uh, I'm going to brew a beer. I'm going to turn in two water. Man, I don't know if I'm going to do. A wheat and two barley. I might get destroyed here, fam. We'll have to see. I have no idea how much. I don't know how, like, expensive your beers were and your breads. I think we're okay. I don't know, but I feel but you very did. good about the game I played regardless of the outcome. Indeed. I'm very proud. I'm going to bake this one. It's going to be two wheat, a barley, and a water. Gosh, nice. thank God I had that water. I totally forgot I had hey, one down here. Never underestimate the extra storage. Oh, man. Okay. Um, oh, sorry. I should have I should have actually had a water. I forgot. Oh, Nick, you're so silly. Hey, man. Because when I can't work these up, when I remove yeah. bread, I should have got a water. So, so yeah, you have water to we spare. We were doubly fine. You were doubly good. All right, that is the end of that round. We are moving now. This coin re represents the end game. But we got to tally up and see how we've done. We've we had, do. We've had a series of competitions over the years. It's about time to see which family can brew it and bake it the best. Any of these do get to get yep. counted toward your score, so you go ahead and collect those. So the first thing I'm going to need is your total value of your beers brewed. All right? Okay. And so again, right here in the in this is the number. Are we adding these things to them? I think this plus coins will be okay, for, for that one, yeah. um, end gamey stuff. Okay. So let's just do base value right here. All right, so I got my beers. My beers, I have five, 12, and 20. Okay. Uh, oh God, Mike's gonna destroy. 20. Oh my gosh. I have 10, 19, and eight is 27. Do you have any extras from for that will bump up your beer numbers? Yes, for each eight and nine, I'll get an extra one. Okay. Um, and so I'll get two more coins. So 22, I suppose. 22 from your beer? Yes. Because yeah. ev for every eight, oh, I'm sorry, and then one, sorry, one. Okay, so you get one bonus right there. Uh, for my, <clears throat> pardon me, for my sixes and sevens, I have one six or seven, and then my four and five, I have one of those I get. Bonus points, I'll get two. All right, so my total beer score is 29 to 21. Yes. Our bread that's side. An entire, that's an entire really good loaf. Or remember, it's only beer. the lower score that counts. Yeah, but the bread scores are fine. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> All right, so my bread score here, I've got 6, 12, not 18, 23 on bread. Not as strong, I actually but have, uh, I have 21. 20, so I have 5, 13, one. 21. Okay, very cool. Now, any bonuses? I have a bonus of my sixes and sevens are worth plus oh, one. Wow. So it's going to be one, two, three. My fours and fives are plus one. So that's plus one. Every two bread I have is plus one. So I've got wow. one, two, three, four, five, six bonus points there. Man, you are seeing the matrix with this one. Um, I will get an extra two coins. All right, that oh, puts you on 23. Horrible. So at the end of the game, hold on, I have one more. What do you got? So I'm now so I can. Um, oh, you're totally right. You can I bounce did, it. I did place more so you upgrades have, than you. You're on 21 and uh, 23. Thank you, even 23 on both, which will be much worse than both of your scores. So, Nick, again, your lower score is what counts. Nick, your lowest score is 23, as you had 23 on both sides. My lowest score is 29, as I had 29 on both sides. Wow. So I win 29. Wow, you destroyed me. No, that's no. a it's a low scoring game. That's an absolute destruction. Wow. No, you you made so many. Every time I was like, every round you're making so much stuff. I was like, how are you doing this? But I also like I had to give you so many resources, which is like, dude, there I was, was I was, was using my stuff so poorly. Yeah, there was at least one moment where you directly handed yeah. me a recipe that I could yeah. build without having to take For another sure. action. No, it was so one of those know. things where like I I think. This is one of those like two player games where it's like pay attention to like what they have, if they have yes. space, is this useful? Do well, I and also just especially with drafting, attention. do I remember this recipe is something they need? Well, and you I know? will say that there was that one time with the drafting phase where I was like, okay, I, I'm gonna harvest to get set up to make this bread or beer or whatever one it was, and then you immediately harvested it. And I was just like, 
crap, I was doing stuff to make that card. And yeah. then now you threw that away. And so I was yeah. like- Those fruitful years are a lot, there's so much tension with that. I was like, whoa, I now need to like change what I'm doing, which yeah. makes you, which made me lose probably a turn or two. And that's a huge amount in this game. Like, yeah, you don't have that much time, really. Yeah, but you just, you just, you outplay me in every aspect of it. Hey, you know, but we both made some breads. We both brewed some yeah. beers. If nothing else, dude, One of us you did. can go just super carbs, super lit carbs. up. Whatever that diet's and called, I'll just, yeah. Let's do one of these. It's just that. Cross the river. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Freddy, you got any muffins? <laughs> <laughs> so that was beer and bread. Fam, I was drinking too much of that mead. Listen, man, Apparently. you pre-game too hard my before gosh. the first fruitful year. I lost my year. hair and I'm just, my, all my power is gone. <laughs> it's like <laughs> Samson might even cut down in your That's prime. Uh, so that was beer and bread. Uh, we hope you enjoyed that. Yeah. Uh, it's a really enjoyable game. The whole back and forth and kind of the way you plan during the fruitful years because you can you can essentially like you know hang on to some cards for the future is yeah. something that I think uh, I was trying to really focus on this time. It seemed to work out for me yeah, just you fine. Did a good job. Let us know in the comments, y'all, what you think of beer and bread. Uh, it's again a two player only game. It's something that we're generally Love intrigued it. by. In this size, two player only in this size box. <laughs> always, Let's always go. a good thing for us. So uh, we were really excited to be able to try yeah. beer and bread. Big thanks to Capstone Games for sponsoring this playthrough and letting us uh, try out this game. We really appreciate it. Uh, and until next time, I'm Mike. I'm Nick. We are the Brothers Murph. That has been Beer and Bread at the Game House. We'll see you next time. Bye, everybody. Thanks so much for checking out another episode of that Game House playthrough. We'd love to hear what you want to see us play next. Hit us in the comments with that. Let us know what you think about Beer and Bread. And a big thanks to Capstone Games for being our sponsor. Uh, speaking of sponsoring... Hey, we got a Patreon. That's like that's like so many. You could be a sponsor of us, and you could like in theory tell us what to do and become our boss. I don't know if that's how Patreon works, but why don't you go over to Patreon, find out, watch some extra top ten uh, materials. It's only for y'all, and we'll see y'all in the next one.